Меня зовут Хуснулин Марат. Я работаю. My name is Marat Husnulin. I'm deputy mayor of Moscow government on urban development and constructions. I've been working for eight years already, and uh, I was the one uh, foreseeing the development of Park Zaryadia and uh, also Luzhniki. What can you tell us about the importance of the Moscow Urban Forum? Why does the city make this tremendous effort year after year? We put a lot of effort, uh, including mayors and uh, uh, the presidents, uh, uh, for seeing this, uh, the organization, because usually and always uh, on this event uh, we found the best and the greatest ideas for architecture and development. How do you incorporate these ideas that are showcased at the Moscow Urban Forum back into the city? Да, мы действительно собираем все идеи, которые есть в развитии мегаполисов и лучшие практики потом обсуждаем у мэра и на We do actually put in uh, work all this many of those ideas we found here during all these years and we put them into different programs and you can actually see them in many uh, all of these projects in Moscow right now. Благодаря Urban Forum. And what can you tell us about Seriaide Park, this new urban park that brings wilderness into the Red Square and opens new views of the river and welcomes its citizens? I've been uh, in urban planning for 30 years now and I would like to say that Zaraide is probably uh, my favorite project right now. I do adore it and I'd like to tell you a story of how it was developed. A few years ago, a mayor told me that instead of commercial building and commercial development here, he wanted to build a park here, and he asked me to address the president and speak to him about it, which was a shock to me, because originally this, uh, this territory was planned for uh, 4,000 uh, square uh, meters of commercial buildings. And the investor was planning to pay $1 billion uh, to Moscow, to the government of Moscow. And he already had everything in plan. He was ready. And I said that this is a great idea because annually we built around 8 to 9 million square kilometers all around Moscow. And we'll never have this kind of opportunity to build something like something huge like this. So we negotiated with the investor and we bought out all this uh, effort and the money that he put into. So we were approved by the president and started working on the concept for this park. First, we started the competition of between all the Russian architects. We had more than 120 competitors. We looked through all of them and we didn't like any of them. Because we didn't want to have a bad project, we wanted a project of the uh, inter good on international level. So we made a very unpopular decision and we just refused all the competitors, all of them, and decided to make an international competition where there was many and many consortiums of architects from all over the globe. We had many international experts in this commission and we decided not to interfere with their decision, although Marat was uh, the, the head of this commission. So when we finally approved on the concept of the park, uh, many people in Russia and in Moscow, many architects were, uh, they didn't like it. They didn't approve of it, but the mayor signed it eventually, so we went on with it. It was very hard to put all these people. From day one I did uh, work this problem every day. Because before this, uh, here was standing uh, the hotel with uh, 350,000 um, uh, cubic meters of concrete underneath. And eventually we succeeded and today 10 million people visited this park which is, I think is, uh, uh, shows that we succeeded. Well, today, uh, during the World Cup, we saw the culmination of many urban projects, renovations of streets, uh, renovation of Lusinski Stadium, transport infrastructure, and today the city is impeccable. But what about the future? I'm just going to say that uh, everything is, that is built in Moscow is going to stay here and no one's going to take it out of Moscow. We didn't just build a stadium, we built a sportive sports cluster. 
because Lužniki sta Stadium is uh, 160 hectares and uh, 44 sportive objects in there. And we forecast that uh, four to five million people every year is going to participate in the events happening on the stadium. Because uh, Luzhniki Stadium is also has this viewing uh, arena up on it with one kilometer on the perimeter, which is huge. Because this is also, this uh, roof is also a huge medium um, arena showing all around Moscow working like a media uh, projector. Within the stadium we have uh, sports centers, fitness centers, uh, cafes, etc. So people can uh, hold different events there annually. Another stadium, Spartak, is another sports cluster. We have uh, 11 uh, football fields in there where uh, students of all age can now practice. And each of those stadiums have now separate uh, metro stations, which are very used right now. Managed logistics we we manage the new roads uh, leading there and we think it's going to work. We built 48 new hotels with uh, eight rooms in them uh, just for the championship. So it's 23 billion tourists annually and it's rising the numbers. After the World Cup, I think uh, the amount of tourists will rise. I think this, uh, the World Cup was both political, social and uh, economical project. And what about the growth of the city of Moscow and the, and the challenges in terms of housing? We've been gradually building uh, the residential areas all around Moscow for around 4 to 5 uh, million square kilometers for the past 3 to 4 years and it's still going on because we, uh, we have uh, demand and uh, it's still affordable because the price for the residential areas and the flats doesn't rise. And our Russian developers are inviting uh, international architects and the quality of these buildings is getting better every year. And Moscow usually builds around 1 million square kilometers annually for the governmental areas. So we started now this new program of renovations where we are tearing down the buildings that are older than 60 years and we're building new uh, there, which is free for people living there. This is the hugest social program in the world. And now closing the interview, what about your commitment to improve the quality of life uh, to Moscovites. Our main goal right now is to improve the lives of people living here and to, to make them want to live here. This is the goal that the mayor gave us, so we are leading with it. So I think the fact that famous people like you, for example, come here to this urban forum and want us to talk at least is already uh, an example of uh, some sort of success. And thank you very much for doing this. Thank you very much for noticing Zaryadi Park. Thank you.